by our future mom and folk for crochet patterns. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make chains. And this is a very basic and beginner friendly video. And so I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm going to show you how to make chains, whether you're using just like normal basic yarn, you're using like faux fur and a normal basic yarn and just faux fur. And so I hope you enjoy. And so let's get started. All right, so the supplies that you'll need today are, of course, your yarn, and this is faux fur. This is um, uh, Wee Crochet's Fable Fur in the color um, V-O-L-P-E. I like to call it Vault, but I have no idea how it's actually supposed to be called. And then you're also going to need um, just a plain regular yarn if you want to follow exactly how I'm going to show you. And I'm going to put, I'm going to first show you how to uh, make a chain with just plain yarn. Then I'm going to show you how to do it with plain yarn and faux fur together. And then also then just uh, faux fur. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So that's why you need this. But otherwise, if you're just doing faux fur yarn, then you just need the faux fur yarn that you're using. And then you're going to need um, a 10 millimeter crochet hook or the size that you're using for your faux fur. And then I'm going to use a six millimeter crochet hook for this um, thinner yarn. And so now to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my six millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to grab just one strand, the middle strand of the plain yarn. And this is uh, Swish Worsted in the color Estuary Heather, also by the company We Crochet. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to um, make a chain. So I'm going to first show you how to do a slip knot. So you're going to put the yarn, the very base of your uh, pinky, and then you're going to put your thumb down to hold it. And then you're going to take the yarn and separate your um, top finger. You're going to just wrap it around it twice. So you're going to wrap like that and then I'm just going to hold um, so you're going to wrap it like this twice and then you're just going to hold the yarn however you want to hold it and what you're going to do is you're going to grab the back strand and bring it up and over and now to the front and then now you're going to grab the new back strand which is right there and you're going to pick that up and bring that over and down and so off your finger and you're going to tighten and now what you're going to do is you're going to start making your chain so that's called a slip knot and now the next part is making your chain actually so you're going to insert your yarn into your um onto your hook and then you're just going to take your working yarn where the ball is attached and tighten and then what, all you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and pull through that's all you do to make a chain so you're going to then you're just going to do that however um, long you or however many chains you want to complete your project so then you just yarn over, you just yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. I'll bring it up a little closer to you. You're going to yarn over and pull through. And so I'm going to show you one time really clo up close and careful. So you're going to yarn over. You're going to bring your hook to do that. You're going to bring your hook back and around. So back and around and then you're just gonna pull through that loop that's on your hook so wrap it around and then pull through and that is how you make a chain and then you just make it however long you want now I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing with faux fur yarn it's the exact same basically everything all you're doing is you're just using a furry yarn so you can't see your stitches or your chains as well. So all you're going to do 
is make a slip knot again. You're just going to put the yarn at the base of your pinky. Take and now I'm going to switch to my 10 millimeter crochet hook or whatever size you want to use. And you're just going to base it, put it at the base of your fingers, wrap around twice. You're going to take your back. Um, it's two, it's two yarns, but we're going to count them as one. So you're going to take your back yarn strand and bring it up and over to the front. And now I'm going to make just a little separation so you guys can see that. And now you're going to take your new back uh, strands and bring it over and down and off your finger. And now I'm going to tighten. And you're going to then tighten it onto your hook, just pull. And now all you're going to do is you're going to make a chain again. So you're just going to yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And that's just how simple making a chain is. So yarn over like that. Take wrap your hook around the yarn and then pull through the loop on your hook. And that is how simple a chain is. Um, I know it will take practice, but I remember when I first did it, it took a lot of practice, but I was so excited when I finally got it that I made like a huge chain that went around our whole house. Um, so all you, so that's just how you do it. And then I'm going to pull this out and all you do to pull it out is just pull on the working yarn and it comes right out. And then you just pull and then your slip knot comes right out. And now I'm going to show you how to do that for the, um, just the faux fur alone. And my yarn is going to wrap around, there we go. All you do is you just Take your yarn, put it at the base of your pinky, like you've been doing, and then wrap it around twice. Take the back loop, bring it over, over the first, over, yeah, take the back loop, bring it over the front loop, and now take the new back loop and bring it over and down and off your finger and tighten. Then you're going to um, just tighten it on your hook and then you're going to just do a chain again. So I'm going to come a little closer. All you do is you yarn over. So you wrap around. So you're, you're, um, yeah, like that. And then you're just going to pull through that loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through. That's what it's called, yarn over, but it's basically just wrapping your yarn around your hook and pulling through. I hope that helps and I hope that gives you a good idea of um, how to do a chain. It's a super uh, basic, it's a great way to start basically any project. Thank you so much for making this these chains along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I plan on making a playlist all about beginner techniques using faux fur yarn and regular yarn. So please stay tuned.